How are you? How has your journey been for the 21 days of me unapologetically? My goal for you, and I know your goal for you was to recapture, reconnect, feel more in love with yourself. And I know based on the feedback that I've gotten is that this journey of self-discovery and self-love and has been a beautiful experience for you and that you've been having some amazing ahas. So today on our 21st day together, I want to read to you um, this poem. I bought this book when I was, I want to say 23 or 24. So, oh my God, this is like, very, very old. I've had this now for, oh my goodness, I don't know. And I don't want to say 30 years, less than that, but more than 25 years. And I marked this years and years ago. And when I need this <sighs> reminder, I read this and I want to share it with you. Women and Nature. This is an excerpt um, and the author is Susan Griffin. The old woman who is wicked in her honesty has questions of her mirror. When she was small, she asked, why am I afraid in the dark? Why do I feel I will be devoured? And the mirror answered, because you have reason to fear. You're small and you might be devoured because you are nothing but a shadow, a wisp, a seed, and you might be lost in the dark. And so she became large, too large for devouring, for that tiny seed of self, from that, a mighty form grew. And now, as she asked, she was one who cast shadows. But after a while, she came to the mirror again and asked, why am I so afraid of my bigness? And the mirror answered, because you are big. There is no disputing who you are. And it is not easy for you to hide. And so she began to stop hiding. She announced her presence. She even took joy in it. But still, when she looked in her mirror and she saw herself and was frightened, she asked the mirror, why? Because, the mirror says, no one else sees what you see. No one else can tell you if what you see is true. So after that, she decided to believe her own eyes. Once, when she felt herself growing older, she said to the mirror, why am I afraid of birthdays? Because, the mirror says, there is something you have always wanted to do which you have been afraid of doing. And you know time is running out. And she ran as quickly to the mirror as possible because she knew that in that moment she was not afraid and she wanted to seize the time. Over time, she and her mirror became friends. And the mirror would weep for her in compassion when her fears were real. Finally, her reflection asked her, what do you still fear? And the old woman answered, I still fear death. I still fear change. And the mirror agreed, yes, they're frightening. Death is a closed door, the mirror flourished, and change is a door hanging open. Yes, but fear is the key, laughed the wicked old woman, and we still have our fears. And she smiled. Every time I read that, it touches me like it does now. Even when I was in my early 20s or mid-20s, whatever it was, you know, there's so much for you to do, and you still have time. And fear is the key. And eventually you don't need that key. Change is a door to your future, just hanging on its hinges. You can walk right through, you can bust right through, you can open the door. 
and connect deeply with, our, with yourself. So your final exercise is to make it a daily practice to connect with you in the mirror, you looking into your own amazing, beautiful eyes and reminding yourself of the glory that you have within you, the magic that is in with, within you, the one and only from now until eternity, from now, from infinity past, there's only one you, only one you ever. And she is more than worthy and more of deserving, more than deserving of having you madly in love with her. So move forward on your beautiful journey and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it. To be a part of it. Sorry about that. And here's to you loving yourself unapologetically. Until we meet again, I'm Mary Picknell. Hugs.